This video relates to the Earth, Moon, Sun lab activity on modeling eclipses. You will need objects to represent the Earth, Moon, and Sun, and other materials to position these items appropriately. You will also need to be able to take photographs and record notes. To build my example model of eclipse, I used two balls. One was a small ball colored like a globe and about three inches across. This represented the Earth. And I had a smaller yellow ball to represent the moon. I used some modeling clay, pencils, and a measuring tape to position things. And I also had a clip light, which is not shown here. Your model Earth should be approximately four times the diameter of your model moon. I put the clip light on one table to represent the sun. Then I positioned the model moon and Earth on another table using modeling clay and pencils. I used the measuring tape to set the distance between the Earth and moon objects. The appropriate distance apart is approximately 30 times the diameter of your model Earth. Next, I tried lining up the sun, moon, and Earth all in a straight line. I had to adjust the positions of the Earth and Moon models and also adjust the clip light up and down to get everything to line up exactly. These photographs show what the Earth looks like when everything is in position for a solar eclipse. This is the same configuration as shown previously in the model setup. Note the shadow centered on the Earth. Since my model Moon is slightly too big, I had to move the Earth and Moon a little bit closer to get it to work. Before I did that, the Moon cast too big of a shadow and the whole Earth was dark. You may have to make a similar adjustment to your Earth-Moon distance to make this work out for the objects that you use. When doing the entire lab activity, you will also want to continue on and change the object positions to represent a lunar eclipse and go through the cycle of the lunar phases. Here is a short video clip which shows the shadow of the moon passing across the Earth. <laughs> 